Welcome to this Clover tutorial, which will cover using the Clover station to place an order and conduct a payment transaction from start to finish. Let's begin the tutorial at the home page. Tap the register app, which shows all the menu categories available for ordering. The screen is split into two sections. The left side is the order type, and the right is the menu categories. Let's say the customer is interested in ordering several different menu items. First, they would like a grilled steak taco. You first select the tacos category, then tap on the grilled steak taco menu item. If a menu item has modifiers, they will automatically pop up. For this menu item, we have grilling and toppings. This customer doesn't want anything special. Tap done to enter the item, then tap back to return to the menu. Second, they would like a basic burrito with extra onions. We first tap the burrito category, then select the basic burrito. The modifiers will pop up and we'll tap on the extra onions modifier. Tap done to enter the item, then tap back to return to the menu. You'll notice on the left side of the screen, the items that we have selected are now listed. Third, they would like two large sodas. We tap the drinks category, and from here, there's two ways to process this order. One way is to select the soda large button twice, and you can see it shows up here. Now, we'll clear this item and go back to the drinks category to show you the second way. We'll first select quantity and the number two. It will then bring you back to the items page where you can select soda large and the order will appear in the column. If the customer realizes they want to remove the cheese from the basic burrito, you can tap on the basic burrito item on the left side of the screen, which allows us to modify the item. Tap edit modifiers, tap toppings, then tap no cheese, then tap done to enter the item, then tap save. At this point, the customer is done ordering and ready to pay. Tap pay in the lower left portion of the screen. This simultaneously sends the order to the kitchen printer, if applicable, and readies the order for payment. You'll notice under the Pay Full Amount tab two options to split the order. These options are covered in a separate support document. The screen will show multiple payment options. We'll show you how to process each option beginning with card swipe. Simply swipe the card with the numbers facing up. Your merchant receipt will print and you're given multiple options on how the customer can receive their receipt. This includes email, text, or printed receipt. For more details, see the receipts article on help.clover.com. We'll select print customer receipt and select done and the order is complete. Now we'll process this order using cash. Tap cash and select one of the amount options or tap the amount receive line to key in a custom amount. We'll tap the exact amount then continue. Your merchant receipt will print and you're given multiple options on how the customer can receive the receipt. We'll select print customer receipt and select done and the order is complete. Next we'll cover receiving a check. The check button is essentially a button that allows you to pay out the order since Clover does not process checks at this time. Simply tap the check button and follow the same process for giving the customer their receipt. And lastly, manual card entry. Tap the button and the card information screen pops up. Enter all the card information, then select continue. The payment will process and the receipt options will appear. This completes this transaction tutorial. There's additional training videos and information at help.clover.com.